Welcome back, guys, to another week, another episode here. Better Love Live in Studio, and this is a special holiday segment. I, it's Christmas came early, because I'm in the studio with two handsome single guys, and we're going to be doing sexy foods. I have Chef Peter and Matt from Flair Events. All right, I told Peter I wanted some sexy holiday foods and sexy drinks, so what do you have uh, so stored for us? we're going to do us? a sexy charcuterie board, because... I like doing that. And I, I know. I love and, the church. And we can board. also do it together. So it's yes. A, which is a lot of stuff. It's fun. And, <laughs> and, and, and I drink. brought a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the assistant for today. All <laughs> right. We. I have. So you're the. You have two assistants then. Perfect. Okay. It's be awesome. But you have to work. And we're also gonna have some nice drinks. We're gonna have a you know, like a festive uh, margari uh, mar margarita. That's what I'm thinking. Summer. Uh, we're gonna have a festive uh, martini. Festive which martini. Is, which is gonna be Amazing. awesome. Okay. And then we have some cold. Uh, some straight shots because the dark rum's here and it's amazing. Yeah. Yes. And I, uh, Actually, yeah. may I just uh, interrupt yeah. here? I know, Matt, you brought this. So can you explain yeah. who so, this is? And thank you to our sponsor. This is from my good friends over at Nickel Nine. So thank you guys again for uh, for giving us this uh, this uh, great spirit uh, to showcase. This is their signature rum. It's called Island Diaz. You okay. can buy it from them here in Toronto. They are over in Junction, and it'll soon be in the LCBOs for purchase as well. Amazing. Sounds awesome! It's so Ooh. unique. Okay. It, it has this. It Chef has this Peter, after do you spice. Open it? Let's, let's yes. smell that thing. Yeah. Oh, and this chocolate smells amazing. By the way, we have. I don't know what this is, but it is some hot chocolate. It's steaming. So this is a with the fondue stuff. It's the hot chocolate. You got to make sure it's in a safe spot, right? You got to. If you have open mm. flames. You got to make sure you're not just, um, oh my God, that's, that's, that does smell really yeah, good. Yeah, right? He yeah, knows, he knows. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's cut that. Um, my favorite spirit. Yeah, All so right. when you look at open flames, you got to be very careful because especially with this, this is like a gel base, so it won't go well right away if it falls. You got to make okay. sure. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so this is like not the most sexiest setup, but you don't want to burn your house down. It works, which is, yeah. Which is even less sexy. Totally works. <laughs> okay, so, so what are we starting with? So right now I'm going to start cutting up some of the cheeses. Okay. Um, it has the, the meats rolled up. Then I'm going to start plating. Per you, what can I do? I'm going to have you start making the drinks. Okay, perfect. So we talked about last time about the free pour, remember? Yeah, I can so, free pour. Oh, beauty. For three of us, right? Oh, yeah. I need one more I'm glass. Gonna have a I'm going to have a heavy hand. I'm going to grab one I more glass. I have a heavy hand. Okay. Grab one more glass and then go. Uh... Great. I think we have three glasses here. Oh, perfect. Um, like and also got, okay. Would you mind opening yeah, that? And also got some red wine. Ooh, because, um, thank you. Because going with the dates, I know we talked about before. Knowing what the date likes, knowing yes. what. Knowing so, that I like all kinds of alcohol. Exactly. It's important to bring <laughs> it all. <laughs> so right now, all right. Uh, if you can grab oh, pass me the meat. Yeah. So Peter, if I'm free pouring, yes. um, am I going to use the rum that was brought? No, or am I going to use the vodka? Use the vodka. For martinis, okay. we use vodka. Martinis, vodka. Okay. Yeah. Just a plain vodka martini? What else uh, am I going to do? You can flavor it depending on the martini that you're making. Okay. Uh, uh, jump in on this one, but I, I usually like for martinis are not normally my favorite kind of drink. Okay. I like my so rum. Why, why did you decide to do because that? Because it's festive, and I know you like it. And ah, okay. It's certainly classy. Okay, and anyway, yeah. It's classy, and if it makes you happy, then I'm happy, and that's what I want to do with the date. You're right? so thoughtful, I know. Peter. So thoughtful. I know. It's crazy. It's Christmas. Oh, <laughs> I, my God. Or it's coming know, to be Christmas. My I, favorite. One of my favorite holidays. Is Halloween and Christmas. I, I'm, I'm um, so, I'm you're so forgetting stoked. Valentine's Day. That is, a that is the matchmaker's you, massive holiday. Come on now. So I've been single for the past couple of Valentine's Day, so... I like the I like the We'll 50. change that. We'll I, change that. That's what I'm here. Yeah, I love it. All right. So now, so, what do I do with this? So now you pour the you pour an ounce and a half, so about like almost like a four second pour of, of the, the vodka. Of the I did. Of vodka. Okay. Now okay. we got, got the Bailey's. We use a festive Bailey, which is a red velvet cupcake. Oh my god. So limited red, edition. Uh, red velvet cupcake is my love language. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> it I is now. Put, so how I much like, do I put of this? We're gonna put a, about three second pour. Three second. One, two, three. Oh, it makes it so pretty. Oh, yeah, it's going to look really good. Wow, it looks like cotton candy in here. Amazing. Okay. And then once that's shaken up, we're going to pour Ooh, into the glasses. I'm going to shake it up. Shake and not stirred. And I'm not going to go anywhere. Can I remember last time you, you, I got, know. you got mad at me when I, when I, when I backed off because I didn't trust your, uh, your shaking technique. Okay. <laughs> and now we're just going to pour that in there. Oh, and we're going to pour it into, into the, the glasses. Into the glasses. So these are more like shots, right? Like this, yeah. So what, normally you have a martini drink, and you have the martini glass, and you can okay. sugar it. And because it is Christmas, we could uh, we could have done a um, candy mm. cane and crum crumble that up into a very fine, almost Ooh, powder. Oh, I like and, that and, idea. And could rim that up, and that will add a nice touch to it. So I'm almost done with the charcuterie board. Okay. Because it is a uh, date night 
Ooh, sexy, that's so se pretty. sexy foods. We're not going to go too heavy on anything that can run any kind of like liquidy kind of stuff. Okay. You want something you can grab. And the, the best part is I have some strawberries. Well. I'll take that from you. Yep, thank you. So the best part is you can have Ooh. stuff. We're going to start dipping some of the stuff in here. Here we go. There you go. Thank you, sir. Let's cheers to this. This is so cute. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, martini. So this is not to chug. Oh, that's good. That, that's good. I, so yeah. what kind of what vodka would you, you know, based on the red velvety kind of, um, look, what kind of vodka would you recommend if it's not just a like flavored vodka? It's tough. Vodka is not my specialty. Um, Let me put you in the spot there. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but uh, certainly, I, I like a vodka that's a little bit more, I guess. This melted I think airy, chocolate. Airy is, is the word it's and great. stuff. Okay. Cer certainly not, not one that's too thick and such. Okay, yeah. perfect. So, Carm, now I got the strawberries. We're going to start oh, dipping. Oh, my goodness. So, I have our skewers here. So I just had them here. Okay. Two seconds. Uh, well, okay, stand by. One second. <laughs> All right. I can actually... I apologize. Sorry about that. I'm trying to roll these. That's I feel like okay. I'm doing... Uh, there you go. So, now am I going to stick this yeah. at the you, end? Yeah. Try not to stab your finger. And then literally dip it? Yeah. And then I'll do one for Ooh. myself. And then we'll, we'll cheers on that one. It's a great date that we had. Yay. Okay. So, just roll it in? Yep. I've never done this. Oh, no way. This is, they, so, this I mean, is so much fun. You know what? It's been a long time. Ooh. Wow. This looks amazing. <laughs> this looks great. Good. And cheers. Cheers. I feel like Matt is so, left out here. <laughs> oh, you know what? No, no, <laughs> okay. No, okay. I'm getting a front row it's seat okay, to all of it's that. It's okay. Right. So you got to so make now, sure that, it, that it's, you gotta let it they chill. don't burn yourself. Okay. If you go right from a dip to, uh, to biting it, you may yeah. burn yourself. I, I, I go straight from like the hot pizza box. I can literally. Oh, do you? Eat, okay. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Cheers. I'll try. Cheers. Done. I'm scared. You first. You left me hanging. <laughs> mm. That's good, eh? Mm. And the chocolate we're using is a dark chocolate. It's not a, sorry, it's a semi sweet a chocolate. Semi -sweet. Mm. I like dark chocolate. Um, but because it's going to try to be more of a, a piece to everybody, you can't go wrong mm. with semi, you can't go wrong with semi, semi sweet chocolate. Matt, I gotta give you one of these. Alrighty, so chef, is there any trick to getting these to stick when they're rolling? Because I feel like so I'm we're doing gonna, a, so when you pile them up together, they're gonna, they're gonna stay in place. Alrighty, and that's gonna be the way it presents, right? Alrighty. So with the scooty board, you don't really have to have like a set rule as so exact. I think you're doing a fine job, well, Matt. Well, thank you very much. I think you're much. doing a fine and job. And I get a, I get a chocolate strawberry. Yes, to you get a thank chocolate you. strawberry <laughs> for your fine job. So there we go. This is really pretty. And so what do you got? This is quite simple. So we got. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because if we were on a date, I would do that. I. Uh, <laughs> I would take a picture. So right of now this. we have this the. This is so great. We have salami, which I like. We have prosciutto coming up. We have some ham, oh. dark chocolate, which is a very sexy food. We have yes. uh, some sweets to off balance some of the salty. Um, what do you think? Of that? Good. I think I need a napkin now. Yes. Oh, yes. oh my gosh! I feel like I have chocolate in my beard. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Here you go. No worries. Oh my I goodness! Fear. Don't mind me. I'm just being a female, <laughs> yeah. and I'm gonna Instagram everything. <laughs> Any Woo! tip for someone who uh, who eats f chocolate fondue with a beard to uh, not make a mess? Probably less dipping. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like if you can. If it's all cool, I mean, it depends if you guys want to go for it. Just go f dive right in there. But maybe just a less. I can't have a beard. Yeah. So I, I I can't grow a beer, so I have a little bit of beer envy going on. Yeah. Not, but Are you saying that because you want to highlight the fact he can't grow a beer? <laughs> I know. You yeah. can't grow a beer. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, I, I didn't mean to embarrass or, no, no. or, or hit yeah. a soft spot. No, it's all good. It's all good. This um, is great. You also have some mangoes we're going to cut up and dip as well. Oh, my gosh. Really? Yeah. So if you okay, cut so some mangoes, are those... Cut those in half, buddy. Um, hold yeah. on. So you, you skew them, like, almost like kind of fish them through. Yeah. Ooh, mango Open dip. This, this is so great. And there you go like that. My daughter would love this. And you can do so many different kind of fruits. You can have like a blueberries, whatever's in season is always awesome. Oh, an awesome blueberries way of doing. would be tough. Blueberries good. Uh, raspberries. Look at are, this. Okay. Oh my goodness. This so is that would, so that would be a, a good quantity to not get it on the beard. Okay. Just saying. Okay. Yeah. As, a, as a tip. Well, I mean, I, I feel like I, if I'm eating sexy food, I also have to eat it sexily. So. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's on you on that one. Then, yeah. I, don't have a, I don't have a beard. <laughs> I did not eat that sexy. Yeah. No. This is great. Mm. And mm. it does pair well together with the... Uh, so the, what's another holiday drink that I can make? Another holiday drink uh, we can make is... Well, I have one just for the, mm. the red oil, because that's where I'm kind of been on my kick on lately. Mm -hmm. But another one would be like uh, shooters. You can do so many like layered shooters. Uh, we can do a dark rum, like a dark rum. Speaking of like shooters, we can do a like, dark rum is a great one. Well, let's and, try... 
No, a shooter meaning well, it's like um, a, a, shot, a tiny, a just shot. a shot, yeah, just but, straight. Yeah, but you don't have to, like, even with a shooter or a shot, you don't have to, like, chug it back. That's okay. what it's kind of what we did when we were younger. You still, you still want to enjoy it, and okay. especially with, like, a dark rum. Like, um, I love, I haven't tried this dark rum yet, but I've been a big fan of dark rum for so long that you can definitely have a um, an appreciation for it by drinking it slowly. Where's your cup? I'm going to put uh, the a dark rum in it for you. So let me ask you this. Um, prior to trying nickel nine, what's your favorite dark rum? Uh, my favorite he hasn't one, tried it yet, my, so. favorite, my yeah. favorite one so far, up until this point, is the the bamboo one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have you tried that one before? I have not, but it I'll is, have to give that one a yeah, try. It so it, it sold out like that over the summer. I have to, I brought it last time when Here's we made. Chef Peter. Oh, thank you so much. And that's thank for you. Thank you. I'll have to um, I'll have to make sure to ask you again at the end uh, for sure. if if, uh, if your favorite dark rum has changed. Perfect. So, by the way, Chef Peter, uh, Matt is a partner of mine. He runs uh, Flair Events. Can you yeah. tell Peter a little bit yeah. about that and yeah. those who are watching in the GTA area? Because last night you just did an event. Yeah, so we just came from a very exciting mixology event uh, at uh, our dear friend's uh, location at uh, Nickel Nine. Uh, Flair Events is a speed dating company and singles events company. Um, we try to do a uh, unique spin on things where we try to add exciting activities and stuff to our events. So the big, the, the big hot ticket right now has been mixology. So they made um, a drink called a kamikaze last night oh, and nice. a bone shaker. Very, very Halloween festive. Oh, I such. like that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Carmel. So I haven't, I haven't ever been to a speed dating event before. Mm -hmm. What, you, what can he expect at what a would speed I, yeah, what would I expect? Look well, at him. He would do well, right? You can definitely expect singles <laughs> of quality. Man. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely think you do very well <laughs> at the events. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, much to, what, much to what I was saying, our events focus on a lot of activities and stuff, but then they go into that traditional speed dating portion where... Um, and how does it work? So when I walk in, I sit down, and then do I got to walk on? Or is there like a timer? Yeah, like, like, so like a chest, like when, when we get to the speed dating portion... Um, you had eight minutes to talk to uh, a lovely lady, oh. um, get I, to know I, them, I get so to tell them minutes. about yourself. Eight minutes. Eight yeah. minutes yeah. is quality time. Eight minutes, yeah. It what was... do you recommend? I mean, I'm the matchmaker, <laughs> but I mean, eight minutes is... is I, not a lot. Is that... No, it's it? great when you really like the person. Yeah. Could be a long time oh. if you if you struggling with connection, oh, right? It, so. it, it's certainly one of those points of contentions because I know I know everyone has the debate of what's the perfect amount of time. But I think the way we have it is you can take three minutes to talk about yourself. The other person can take three minutes to talk oh, okay. about yourself. You have two minutes to ask questions. Something like comment in Cheers. between that. We're okay. trying. We're trying the alcohol. Oh, you've got okay. your. Uh, you've got. I, the I'm still one. working on this. Yeah. I see. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I need we're to catch up. I need to catch up. Oh boy. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. very smooth. That is really good. I like and that. that after Thank you, Nickel Nine. Oh, yeah. That is very. Yeah, that smooth. is so good. So there's, so there's our board. I added some figs on because fig is a very sexy fruit. Fresh figs are even sexier. Oh my goodness! But they're kind of hard to get in the winter. So if you can that score, looks amazing. If you can score some fresh figs in the in the winter. Pick them up because they are amazing. Uh, very healthy for you and all that stuff. So in the in the winter, you get the dried figs. Right. It'll still work and still good because almost like candy. And it's Sony. I've never dipped the fig in the chocolate. I have no idea how that would go. Let's well go uh, ahead. I'm in. Mm. I'm just gonna nibble on it. Figs are good for um, digestion. I heard. <laughs> this is a quality fig. Well, it's funny. I didn't want. I mean, bowel movements are not <laughs> sexy, but apparently no, no. this helps, well, right? <laughs> it is. Yeah, it does have like a, a bit of like the, a the, diuretic. the, the prune kind of stuff mm. family. But isn't it in the prune family? But with the figs, like the fresh figs, is almost kind of like a, a sexy food because it's supposed to be like fresh and vibrant and all that stuff. The dry fig is mm. good because candy has a sugar aspect of it, which is amazing. And same with like strawberries. We have the strawberries, very aphrodisiac kind of food. Oysters, which is really hard to get um, to, for taking on, unless you got to eat them at that moment. Because oh. once, 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 once you shuck an oyster, you have to eat it at that moment. So we'll, have to, we'll have to do that. We're gonna, you we're, and I we, have I know, I know. We, we talked about this, and I know it, it will be coming. We're going to do it. might be on location somewhere. Okay, <laughs> but, perfect. But we will be doing oysters because those are probably the epitome of sexy food. Now, you also have pineapples. Should we I have, do yeah, more I'm fruits? Gonna throw, I'm going to throw some more okay. fruit in here. Because especially because it's, now it's winter time and it's kind of cold, vitamin C is, mm. you should keep up to that, right? So, so back to um, mixology events yeah. and, you know, and like we're dating, having yeah. fun and talking. 
What do you notice, like, what's your best advice for someone like Peter who's never been to a speed dating event? Like, what do you think about how he should dress and what kind of conversations do people have? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I would say that the shirt he's wearing today is perfect. I know, he's I, looking I said, really I said it sharp. before, but I just, I love these cuffs. Oh, um, something that's fun, a little bit dressed up. You don't have to come in a suit and tie for sure. Okay. Um, but dress a little bit up and such. Um, Conversation-wise, just keep it light, keep it casual. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you want to be yourself. Okay. Um, and, and just be confident in, in, in yourself and what you have to say. Uh, and you're gonna walk out with a match or two. I almost guarantee it. Just, right. just from knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys heard that? Yeah. I'm in. Sign so, me up. So Matt, how does one indicate that they're interested? I think you brought some material from yeah. the event. So right? we have these very fun, and I brought my event kit right here. Amazing. Uh, so we have these scorecards, and mm -hmm. when I was creating these, I wanted them to be super, super simple. So here it is right here. So a scorecard. Oh. Yeah. So what, how does, what oh my God. So it's I almost like you're grading the other okay. dater okay. here. So yeah. Oh, we're going to so, rate them. Yeah. So, so uh, here you are. You have end. your dater's yeah. name. So the name, there's a, an empty space for each person. Yeah. So if I was across from Peter, there's a, there's a yes, no, yeah. which obviously is an indication that yes, I'd like to meet yeah. or not. Instructions, write your name in the space, write the name of each date, indicate yes, no. We will take care of the matches yeah. and contact you. So, oh, nice. so everybody who's registered. I won't know about the time then. Right. Okay, oh. no, that's okay. You can ask oh. questions. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, what happens if she doesn't know right away? I'm like, I'm not going to wait seven minutes. I'm still talking. <laughs> well, uh, that's, that's one of the reasons why we have it as the eight minutes, because okay. obviously you get to know someone. Maybe things change within that time. Banter okay. could be so amazing that, 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 that you could be like, you know what? I wasn't really thinking that this person and I would be a good match. But we have so much in common. I definitely, I definitely. I do agree. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the thirty-six questions that lead to love? I have heard of that. Yeah. Have you heard yeah. of that, Peter? I uh, yes, you did. You know what? I heard of it. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I read the whole thing though. That's okay. <laughs> but so the thirty-six question that lead to love is sort of it was based on research indicating that when two people ask like deeper questions that invoke more of a you know, emotional intelligence, oh. and you're l learning more about their vulnerability. Yeah, so these like you profound know? questions kind of thing? Yeah, like one of the questions is, and I'll ask this to you guys, okay, let's 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 be my sexy date okay, right, now. right um, now. Okay. If you could have dinner with anybody famous, past, present, past or present, who would it be and why? Like famous as in like a lie, like a movie star? Uh, or could be, could anybody, any famous person, if yeah. you could have dinner with anybody famous, who would it be and why? Who would it be? Do you have a, uh, an instant? Uh, and they, they could be, it could be Genghis yeah. Khan. It could be Gandhi. I, mean, I was going to say, you know, you know who would be kind of cool would be Gandhi. Like, I, th ah. I, th I think because he's, like, he, he, the way they portray him in the books and the way they teach him in school. And then they I also have, the like, yeah. But then his actual biography stuff is way deeper than that. There'd be a lot of questions I'd like to ask that guy. <laughs> but awesome. I, th I think that would be, be a fun one. Well, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, Marilyn Monroe, yes. Marilyn what about Monroe. yourself? Uh, I'm going to sound like a bit of a nerd here, but uh, the founder of Ferrari. He okay. was a very self-made man, started out as a mechanic, and then What's started his, his name, own... What's his name, by the way? Uh, Ferrari? I'll butcher his name. No, 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 no. <laughs> but started out as a mechanic, um, and then... Uh, he actually started Lamborghini because he got in a fight with the owner of Ferrari oh, no. and said, I'll make cars better than you. And then he made his own cars. And then, so, okay, so Lamborghini came yes. from Ferrari. Uh, no, well, la la the owner of Lamborghini and the owner of Ferrari are very different people. Ah, but, got it. But, but just, well, they got in a fight with each other. Yeah, they mm. did not like each other. They did not like What each would other. you ask this person? I'd ask this person, gosh. I feel like I'd ask them so many questions, but I think the Are you first a car is, guy? Is that the thing? No, uh, I, I, I wish it was a car guy, but I think the, the first question I'd ask is, how did you get the gumption to start so many businesses that then just became so successful? Love yeah. that. Because he was a very self-made man, learned everything himself. Yeah, so that's one of the questions. How about you, it's though? not a typical question. Not, oh, no, my no, God. No, oh. Now, now I'm curious. Wait a minute. Now I'm curious. Um, you know what? There's... Are you can't say I, I, No. I would want to interview, like, if it was a non-famous person, I'd want to interview my grandfather because oh, he God. passed before I could meet him. And he was such an important person to my dad. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and he was a general in the Army, so I'd ask him Amazing. all kinds of wow. things. 
Um, th yeah, th 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 I asked my grandfather that I never met. Um, but if it was a famous person, I was just asking. I want to meet your grandfather. I know he's amazing. <laughs> um, I think I would interview. Um, oh gosh, I'm bad with friends. Jennifer Aniston. She seems just because, yeah, she because seems very cool. A in the matchmaking space, there's all this pressure on relationships, and she's always in the limelight, and she used to be like a list celebrity with Brad Pitt. So it's like, what's that like? You know, just kind of no, that's picking her brain. And, and she seems like a stuff. very cool person. Her like, or I, Jessica Alba, I, I really yeah. Charlie Steren. Yeah. Oh, I, I, so I, many. I think she be she's like one of those girls. Like, yeah, she's gorgeous, but she's so she's many. funny. So let's go so, back to this yes, food. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Tell, no, no, that's okay. <laughs> this is great. Um, why, this looks really pretty. So awesome. how do you, you made a lot of great boards. So how do you pair, like what's your mindset when you're thinking about the right foods to pair? Uh, for me, it's a presentation and real estate mm -hmm. first with the spaces on the board. I want to make sure that it looks good because like I said before, you eat with your eyes first. Right. So you always eat with your eyes first. If I present to this board, and it's like, oh, it looks good. There's that wow factor, which I, I love seeing people's reaction to that. And then from there, I put, I kind of, we have a talk about what you like and don't like. So if you didn't, so if you hated oysters or right. like olives, I probably wouldn't be putting olives. If you hated oysters, we would not be friends. Yes, <laughs> yes that's say. true. But we both love oysters. <laughs> we love you know? oysters, yeah. So, yeah, so stuff like that, little stuff you kind of get to know the person, like where there's like a, like a date night or a big party, I get to know what they like and don't like. I don't add nuts to the boards because of allergies. Okay. So unless. But what if you checked? Because yeah, I so, love nuts. So yeah, if you and I both are cool with nuts, then I would go nuts on it. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> you would go nuts on the nuts. I would go nuts right? on the nuts. Okay. Um, I would be impressed. And and something like that. Chestnuts so, for the holidays. You know, I'm not a big fan of chestnuts. Oh. I know. I know they're roasted, and mm. I, I, you can roast. I just try to yeah. roast it like roasted like. They, they are okay. I, I like uh, almonds. Uh, pistachios are fun. Great. Like that kind of stuff. Uh, chocolate covered cranberries I like to kind of keep with the fruit. What do you think of this board, Matt? I like it. I like it a lot. It's I simple. think maybe you do a flare event on making a charcuterie board. You know, I've toyed about adding food in, so maybe it's not about adding food in, it's about adding sexy food in. Ah, well. yeah. there you go, the and sexy it, food. It, it can be any kind of food you want to be sexy enough, depending on how the date goes, I guess. Well, that being said, I have two sexy bachelors here. Can you please tell our audience where they can hire you, <laughs> where they can date you too, You're first the you and, the then, and then Matt, okay. Uh, yeah, so you can find me on uh, Last Call Catering, the, um, I'm on Instagram, YouTube, I just started like, a YouTube channel, so, but yeah, you can find me there, send me a message, uh, like I am, I'm single, so I am. Send um, me a message if yes, you want to yes, meet you, you, you have to go through farm. <laughs> or come to a flare event. Or, or come, come to a flare event, yeah. that's right. So you, so you got to get past these guys. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Matt, that's your camera. Tell yeah. our audience where they can hear about you and flare events. You can hear about me on Instagram uh, by through my company, Flare Events, at Flare Events, uh, or through me, at Garfas. You can find us on our site, flareevents.ca. We also uh, post a lot of our events on Eventbrite, so you can find us there as well. And there I'll be you checking it out too because I like this thing. Yes, there you have it. Okay, on that note, I am going to dip my pineapple in this chocolate. And I will join you. This you is an excellent of episode of Sexy Foods. We'll provide the recipe or all of the ingredients in this charcuterie board in the notes below. Until then, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.